In this video, we are going to look at installing driverless AI on a Windows 10 machine. We start with getting to the instructions for installation, which are available on our website. So let's get, go to the h2o.ai website and you can click on the download button here that will take you to the various products that are available and driverless AI is what we are looking for. I click on download over here and that will take us to a page where you can access the documentation and besides that you can also download the product if you haven't already done so. In my case we've already uh, done it in, for this video and if you do need a evaluation key uh, for running driverless do click here on this link to get the key. So let me click on the documentation link and that takes us to the documentation page with all the sections listed here and if you're interested in installing driverless AI and this will list out the various platforms on which you can install driverless and we go down to look for Windows 10 Pro and you have the instructions here to install driverless AI. So let's start with that. We already downloaded the driverless AI package. I have it on my machine ready to start installing. So before running Docker driverless AI, you must enable, make sure Docker has access to the C drive and there's a couple of settings around the CPU and memory. And this describes how you can make those changes. So let's, let, let's go ahead and do that. And the first thing to do is go to the Docker icon that's running in your taskbar, right click on that icon and you see the settings menu here. Left click on the settings menu and you have the options for Docker settings. The things we need to look for are to make sure that the drive C is accessible to Docker, which it is here. And also to make sure that the number of CPUs and memory is sufficient for Docker to run. So we have four CPUs and over 10 gig of memory. So with this, we are okay to apply. And Docker is basically going to, I'll make sure I do this and then I do apply and it might ask you for your local password. I type that in. This time when I type the right password, everything works. And everything, everything looks good here. So let us close this. and continue. The next step is to load the driverless AI image into Docker and you can do that through a PowerShell terminal. The easy way to get to that is to press the Windows key and the X button and you see the Windows PowerShell option here. I click on that and this opens up a Windows PowerShell. I navigate to where I have stored the Docker image and then I type docker load minus i driverless AI docker I let it expand and this is the file name that I used to download when I hit enter it's going to start loading the image into docker this can take uh, several minutes at this time so if you are doing this on your machine this is a good time to maybe take a coffee break for the purposes of this demo video, we are going to pause and come back once it has completely downloaded everything. And now that uh, all of the images have been downloaded, let's look at the next step, which is to create a few folders that will be used by the container. So I will create the data folder, the log folder, the license and the last one for temporary files. So we have the folders created that will be used by the driverless AI image. The next step is to copy any data you might want to into the data directory. This is to make the data available to driverless AI and I do have some sample data sets. So let me copy over the 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 data from where I have it so 
in the data folder I've copied a couple of CSVs so this is just some sample data to make it available now we are ready to start the driverless AI docker image so the way to the command for that is here we copy over right up to this and let's let's map the paths that we have created this is the path to the log file to the license the data folder what we are doing here is really mapping uh, the folders that we created on the on the Windows machine and making them visible inside the container so that the applications running inside docker can access them that's what that's really what we are doing here and then the temp and then finally we give the name of the executable to run the name of the program and when I hit return this is going to start up driverless AI inside of docker so we already now that this is started up we should be able to connect to it by at port number one two three five inside the container and we can do that by starting a new tab typing localhost one two three four five and you will see driverless is running here and you can look at the data set you have some options to add data you have an option to start some experiments and we do have other videos that explain how to install the license key and how to start an experiment in driverless AI. In this video, we looked at installing driverless AI on a Windows 10 machine. For more information, other videos and tutorials, please go to our site at docs.h2o.ai. Thank you for watching this.